hello radiant lights so this week it's all about clear vision your vision and getting clear so I've got three crystals here we've got um, they're all points except for this cluster we've got clear quartz citrine and a wonderful quartz um, cluster that a little piece that I've had forever actually these two I've had forever and this was a gift but um, they're actually faves of mine so I'm going to just do a little tune in for the Akashic energy, what is moving in the Akash, the soul level, and then we're going to um, dive in. Um, so if you want to skip ahead, this is going to be soul story number one, soul story number two, soul story number three. So if you pick this one, this quartz, take a, that's going to be soul story number one, soul story number two. And soul story number three yes and I'm going to be doing a Celtic cross we're going to be looking at what are the challenges what is easing up what is coming in for you now as I'll pick a card even though I'm putting these giving this a time frame um, everyone's timeline is a little different and know know that especially um, when you're doing weekly like for the next seven days or anything that has a time even if it's not happening right now and you're drawn to it, that means it is in your timeline. That means that it is in the Akash. It is moving through the Akash, perhaps into the astral or and or etheric. So if things are in the etheric plane when you're getting this reading for you individually, that means it's going to manifest more quickly than someone that is just beginning that cycle of manifestation. Um, because if, after the etheric is the denser physical reality. It's, it's that tangible manifestation of something okay so there's a lot right now that is in the astral which means there's an acclimation time a recalibrating or or calibration for some it's recalibrating some it's calibrating qualifying the energy or requalifying the energy to make sure that you're in resonance well not even to make sure because it's beyond the cognitive you don't think about it you have to be in resonance to what it is that you desire or what you want to manifest so things are moving right now. There's a lot of energy that's going to start picking up, especially, you know, mid-September on. We've got a lot of um, just, I've, I've been explaining this in my Patreon channel, if you guys want to subscribe to that. I, and I thank those that are Patreons of mine, patrons of mine that I can um, devote more time to doing videos and um, give the heads up of what's coming up. So if you want that kind of individualized care, um, even more so, you know, you connect with me on MentorCam, get a reading from soulplayground.life, um, connect with me on Awakenings with Michelle Mache every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. I do readings there for free, just mini, mini reads. Um, you can join me on Soul Centered Living or any workshops that I'm doing, check out my classes and workshops. Or Patreon, especially um, Soul Seeker and Soul Path Travel, Soul Path Traveler. Um, those um, we do a lot of what I'm tuning in psychically, or what I get from the guides, and we meet monthly. So if that's something that's interest of you, so um, this is all about preparing right now. There's a lot of preparing, last minute decisions. Um, it's a time to get not only clarity and get clearness. There's going to be a lot of clarity the next few weeks, but decision making. Now, it may not be in the old way. The decision may, oh, that opened up that opportunity. I don't know if I'm ready. You need to go through with it, right? Um, or I've been waiting and waiting and now this has finally happened. Or I've changed my mind. So there will be perhaps even more to the close of September into October, uh, more decisions making. And then it seems that things kind of halt again. <laughs> Although I do feel there could be jarring news, again, lockdowns, mandates, laws, protests, people are gearing up for the close of this year into next year. So you're going to be finding more of your tribe or your tribe finding you, people finding you, you finding people. There's going to be this synergistic energy, the synergy that happens that gets people more into synchronistic connecting. So there's a lot of preparation right now for that going on. And what you can do is get rid of what's no longer working. Notice what's not working. 
right now. Notice what's not working and focus more on what is working. What is bringing that grace and ease? What is bringing that upliftment? Um, what, is, what is working? So many of you also, there could be new jobs, careers started more towards the close of the year. Many of you are taking temporary jobs or bridging jobs. Um, or you're in one career and you're going to be going into another. But again, there's a lot of time. It's a lot about prep. All right, so we get to the reading. Soul story number one, number two, and number three. Let's start with soul story number one. Okay, so if you pick this clear quartz, I'm going to keep that here for you. And let's see what's coming up for you. The first thing I heard is the mountain is steep and you've been climbing it. And there is going to be a pinnacle. Some of you could be getting acclaim or recognition for something. Um, there's also clarity for some of you whether to have children now or later. That's for a small a, a group. Uh, or marriage. Some of you could be dating or marrying someone that has children is what I'm hearing. And you're well aware of the preparation time, the prep that you're doing. We've got two more. So you're on your way, but it's it's just the middle. It's it's there might be a rest point, but there's more to do, is what I'm hearing from your higher self that is so beautifully coming through. Yeah, look what you find yourself, Queen of Wands. So this is succession, success and adventure, a project. Um, you're activating more. Many of you are connecting more to your soul. What's coming in for you? Oh, look at that. The world changes. So there are really no challenges. The challenge is for you is to recognize that something is ending or over and to, and to allow the, what inspires you or motivates you to move you forward and is also to trust yourself more. I think that's why you got this lovely, clear, you know, it's like if you look at the bottom of this, there's it's kind of cloudy and then it gets clearer and clearer all the way to the point. You may even want to work with sacred geometry. I'm seeing geodes around you. Many of you may be connecting more to crystals. Um, you may want to wear clear quartz, meditate through, but I, I don't know. I feel like there's something, some recognition, some project, maybe you're very entrepreneurial. Uh, many of you are very entrepreneurial and it all it, it's all coming together is what I'm hearing. The foundation is the lovers. Woo, intuitive decisions. You're like majorly bossing up soul story number one. You are like calling it in, call it in. Your, your visions, your intuition is spot on. You are making great changes in your life is what I'm hearing. So the subconscious for some of you is using your intuition more, your dreams. Um, there's a lot coming through to you subconsciously. Some of you, there is also a, a, a deep desire for this, a, a lover, a life mate. There may be a move or you end up dating someone or marrying someone that's somehow different from you or maybe in a different country. For sure, different city, maybe even, or there's a, there's a move. Let's see what you're wearing. Oh, look at King of Pentacles. So there could be someone coming in. Got Taurus. Uh, Virgo, Capricorn. But what you're aware of is your work. You're doing a lot of work and the work is paying off. Here's the past, Four Pentacles. And what's coming up in the next week is Decisions, Ace of Swords. So you've got Four of Pentacles in your past. So you're coming out of perhaps a hibernation or um, some type of healing or refueling. Maybe you've also been working on your money, making sure that that's kind of having the reserves. I would say you're you're poised for, you're, you're right in the cycle that I see psychically. And what I've been receiving from the guides and the oversouls is the decisions of the winter months, which November through February of next year, there's a lot of change. So many of you are gonna be making a lot of decisions. Um, Let's see, Five of Pentacles is how you're showing up. This could be a relationship that you feel is no longer working, Knight of Wands, or it could be a move. Insight, changes, move, clearing the air. You've got the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. Your hopes, dreams, wishes is Two of Pentacles. You want change. You're working feverishly for change. The outcome for some time is the Magician. So I usually read these four to six weeks. The sixth position here, which you've got the Ace of Swords, is usually a week to two weeks, and then four to six weeks, the Magician. So there is something that you are changing or changing up in your life. This could be a new relationship coming in. Um, 
Virgo Gemini energy. There could be a lot to do with writing with you, teaching, uh, could be grants. The one thing that I see for you is you're, you're having to um, retrain yourself to think more abundantly and, and get out of a fixed mindset, some of you. Some of you, you're feeling like you don't fit into the old environment, and but that's going to be changing. So what's coming up for you is the world card. Okay, let's see, fortune, do we have a message here? There we go. Okay, we've got be, beware, be careful who you trust at this time. Okay, you've got the iguana, I guess it's here. Liz so this is telling me just to protect your energy. If there are certain people, that's the five of pentacles, that you're feeling drained from, then you need to reassess how, how often you're perhaps with them. Then you've got goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. So you're starting to see your goals. You're getting to one level of the mountain of the pinnacle. Some of you are going to be traveling. Fool, have the courage to embrace change. Take risks, be adventurous. So this is a time this week, let's say this week, the next few weeks, couple weeks, uh, that you get a kind of a heads up. You're getting a preview of what to expect and what's possible. You're getting out of that five of pentacles mentality. Um, so if there hasn't been, an in there will be an increase of money. You might have to be juggling things for a bit, but the changes that you want to create, you are creating them, you are manifesting them. Like I said, the world card is what is coming in for you. It's a great. So you really don't have any blocks, soul story number one. This is coming in not as opposition, but to help you, the world card, okay? So some of the decisions that you make may be a little bit different or how they manifest or come through may be a little bit different than what you envisioned, but they are leading you to your destiny. And your soul insights mantra is, I am on a clear path to my destiny, my dreams, my goals, and desires are manifesting for me. That's it. All right, Radiant Soul Light, wishing you so much abundance, so much success, so much prosperity, and so much love. See you in the next reading. Citrine, okay, let's look at you. We're gonna do Celtic Cross. Mm, see, I feel the energy picking up. I always channel the energy. I feel it through my body. So I'm a conscious channel and a trance channel. Also read tarot and other divination tools, but I feel the energy because I'm empathic. So this reading, I feel there's a lot of movement this week. Okay, we're gonna have two more, two more shuffles here for soul story number two. What is manifesting for you? Is there, is there blocks? What's crossing you, soul story number two? Let's see. We've got the Queen of Swords. You're showing up as the Queen of Swords, or the situation is that it's to vocalize. Ten of Pentacles. So a lot to do with family, finance, many of you building a legacy. There is some peace that's about to be fitted for you because you're, you're acting more, responding more authentically. The subconscious, you've got the Ten of um, the Wheel. So you're in a cycle of change. I'm, I'm very, I'm reminded here, let's reinforce, that there's two wheels. And on this wheel is the tree of life. So many of you, this could be marriage or coming together with someone or creating a business or thinking more entrepreneurial. You definitely increase in money, plan for an increase in money this week and into the rest of September. Start putting those plans into motion. Um, we've got also here, we've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, but I feel that this is you. I feel like you're like really planning. You're looking at these distant lands, these dreams, these goals, these desires, and you're starting to put things in motion because a lot of change, you have been going through a lot of change. There's a lot of change in your life. Wow. Ace of Swords, getting clarity, decision make. I told you this week is a lot about clarity. What's behind you, two of wands, you've learned how to master the situation and to master your emotions and to, and to work with what is. I feel like many of you have understood this is the way it is and this is what I can do and this is what I can't do. I can do this now, maybe I can do this later. So you're getting very dispassionate. I, I feel like you're less over emotional. You're making decisions 
yes, taking into your heart, into account, but these are decisions that are made like laser light precision. Like you're not being swept up emotionally with whatever you're deciding. The next week, King of Pentacles. Wow, and I really shuffled this. So I feel like maybe the whole overarching is these new relationships that are starting to come in. Now, I could be reading, if, if you're not dating someone right now or partnered, this could be business, this could be you, this could be someone that comes in in a week to two weeks to help you. I'm hearing manage, manage your business, manage your money, management. So there could be money management or you're helping others or teaching about money or managing. You're gonna have, this is a lot time to prepare right now. So maybe some of you are looking at, oh, I'm starting to create more money or more wealth and make more money. What do I do with it now? Where do I put it? Do I invest? Do I save? Do I invest some, save some? Do I pay this off, pay this back? So there's a lot to do with finance, creating a new direction. Let's see where that's going. See, Four of Cups, you're looking at something, that, a dream, a goal, a desire that you had in the past is coming back. But this time you're gonna have the wherewithal to make it happen, the support. Could be um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your life, or maybe you have that in your chart. Uh, got perhaps uh, there's a Pluto Scorpio energy also I just heard something with oil or in diamonds some of you could be doing some kind of investments or selling stuff off to move that's another thing what's around you is the Sun Leo again this is a lot about entre entrepreneurial energy creative energy and moving forward Knight of Pentacles well Yes, I get it. This is the area of hopes, dreams, wishes, but this is what you also don't want. You you want to see the end in sight. And I do think there's going to be a breakthrough. I feel there's going to be a breakthrough in the winter months. So some of you November, December, some of you January, February. Um, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, soul story number two. But yes, there is more to do. It's like you're planting seeds. And some of them are starting to come through. You're feeling like you can relax a little bit. Make sure you get enough rest is what I'm hearing. And here's what you go, death, rebirth. Remember I said I felt Pluto Scorpio energy? Here we go. The death card, rebirth. Scorpio card, but also ruled by Pluto. So this is a huge transformation for you. I don't feel you're gonna know the whole, I'm gonna clarify that death, rebirth. That's because many of you, some of you are moving, maybe out of the country, out of the state, um, to another providence, the new way of living. Some of you are going to be working with some kind of art group, artist group, um, artist colony, spiritual center, spiritual. There, there's some community that's coming in for some of you. Okay, there's any more messages from the cards on the death card. Okay, we're not going to. You already know that there's a tr complete transformation. Some of you are going to be spending time more in nature. Oh, the tower. So big, four to six weeks. I feel it's something with that sun card. It's something that frees you up. It could be a new relationship, whether personal, romantic, collegial, collaborative, or there's some kind of gift of money or grant or increase in money that allows you to change something about how you live and or where you live soul story number two okay it seems like it's some distant land oh look at this goals progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved now soul story number one and you saw how i shuffled so there's no way that i mean these cards are just divinely guided so so again, this is achievement of goals. I feel like it's going to be in the winter months. Okay, so your soul insights mantra is I am aligned to my soul. I am aligned in my path. Mm, okay, I'm in line to my soul. I'm aligned to my path. That's it. You're on the path. Don't don't veer off. Is what I'm hearing. For some of you, um, I am drawing in the people and the prosperity to make the changes I need and want to make. That's the tower, the rebirth. I'm hearing to tell you, the money is there. 
The money is there. It's already there in the astral etheric. The money is there. Don't need to worry about the money. All right, soul story number two. The money is there, which means for us, sometimes it means it will be there. You may not see it. I see it etherically. It's, it's, for some of you, it's part of astral. The astral level is part of contracts, but the money is there. And take that how it will. It could be the job. It could be a job, whatever it is. It, it's the needs. It's the fulfillment of what you need and want is there. All right. So much love, success, prosperity to you. And I hope this resonated for you. If so, please like, subscribe, get the notifications, and share with those you feel it could be a benefit. See you in the next reading. All right, soul story number three. I'm getting bunches and bunches and a lot happening, like a, a grouping. You're at the center. And maybe you're realizing you're at the center. This could be with family. This could be with friends. You're at the center of it all. Some of you are moving to the center of it all. Now, it's very interesting. I'm getting a lot with the Mid Middle East, Dubai, um, Iran, Iraq. I'm getting a lot with the Middle Eastern energy and also I'm here in India, Pakistan. So I don't know if there's something going on. Also China. I'm getting a lot with you with international news, international travel. Um, I am getting some people moving, wanting to come back, can't come back, they come back. Um, there's a lot to do with you, a lot with this week with work. Got two more. Finances. Some of you could work internationally or deal somehow with something international. Let's see what it is. Okay, this one's to come up. Pisces energy, the hangman. Some of you are waiting on decisions. Let's see if it comes through. Oh, Wheel of Fortune. So something new coming in for you. So you, I feel like you're awaiting. I, some of you, I'm, I'm telling, I see International Airport. I feel a lot of travel back and forth. Some of you are wake, waiting for someone to return. You're wondering if they're going to return. I see a return. Yes, you've got the Sun card. There's a move, there's a change, there is a connection here with a very important special individual that you're reconnecting with. This is also having to do with your disposition, your vitality, health is coming up. Your make, wow, this is gonna be a great week. Tower on the bottom, a lot of interchange. You've gone through a lot. Some things you're waiting on decisions. Wow, look at that, six of wands, acclaim, victory. Now this is, you know, Six of Wands has to do with um, trust and belief, having faith, trust, belief, believing in yourself, others believing you, after there's been doubt. So something's being proven to you. If you're working on projects th this week and the rest of September, plan to finish them or get them out there more. Plan to put them in because you're riding a wave of more people noticing you, seeing you. This is a very good energy for those of you that want to increase your income or want to get a, a job or make a career change or maybe have meetings coming up. Yeah, Ten of Wands is the past. You put in a lot of time, energy, and work. Some of you thought you were having burnout and some of you were a bit. And there we have Nine of Pentacles, a week to two weeks out. Nine of Pentacles, gain, success, independence, being seen, being paid for what you're worth, your value, self-esteem is up, your value, your sense of value. People are seeing your value, okay? Some of you, this could be a relationship with somebody that has a child or you have a child and you're balancing home, family. You're balancing a lot. Remember I said you got this cluster. You're showing up at the page of swords. Some of you could work in tech or big tech finance. Um, there's a lot of email, a lot of communication that's coming up for some of you writing, clearing the air through writing. But this could be a book. This could be um, social media. This is something that goes into circulation. What's around you is the five of swords. Watch those naysayers, even if it's in your head. Okay, watch the repetitive thinking. Focus on this energy that's coming in of the sun. I'm, I'm shining. I'm doing my purpose. I'm on my path. I'm meeting the people I need to meet. Wow, Ace of Cups is hopes, dreams, wishes. So you you want that fulfillment. Some of you, it is you're on your own. Some of you are on your own and you want that love relationship, committed relationship. I do, like I said earlier in the channel part, 
I'm not necessarily seeing it through the cards, but yet there does seem to be, ooh, I said it psychically and here it is in the cards, the lovers. So some of you, this does have to do with a very important relationship. If you are in a relationship, you could be starting to work with that person or doing some kind of business on the side. Um, whatever it is, I feel th thriving and flourishing. For some of you that you ha are single, a week to two weeks, you're looking like you're still single, but four to six weeks, many of you, there is a new relationship coming in. Or a relationship deepens, it blossoms. It could be a friendship that turns into more of a romantic situation. I'm gonna just see if there's clarification. Could be a Pisces, could be a Leo. Mm, could be, could be, um, Pisces, Leo, could be Scorpio. Oh, Seven of Pentacles. There we are waiting. Wow. And then look at that. Ace of Wands. Energy up. So there's going to be a lot of passion. So for those that this is about a relationship, it's very creative, very passionate, very high level. Like they get you, you get them. There's no games. It's like you're going to be saying, finally, I'm seen for who I am and what I'm about. Some of you, this will be intuitive decisions. This will be about creative projects, um, side jobs, side gigs that you're doing. Some of you putting your music out there, talent, something, some kind of gift, something creatively. There's contracts involved. Contracts will go well. But if you need an attorney, uh, some of you won't need an attorney. Some of you may. So you can see what's coming up, but you're you're going to be the center. Look at this. You're the center of the of the of your world of the world. Could be a community, spiritual group. This person that you're dating. Some for some of you, they could have children. You could have children together. But for some of you, there is a relationship definitely coming in. So prepare for that this week in whatever way you'd like to. The headspace. Keep working on your plans, your pro look at this, celebrations. You're ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. Love it. And angel, your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Okay, your soul insights mantra is, I am manifesting the life of my dreams. For some of you, it is, I'm guided and protected in all that I do. You just need to enjoy yourself more, soul story number three. Take a break. Even if it's a staycation, you need to acknowledge just how far you've come and what you know and what you've done. Acknowledge your achievements. This is big change. This is coming into the subconscious. This is what you don't see. I feel for some of you, somebody like a comet is just like a, you know, or a magnet is coming right in for you. And it's gonna put you in a whole new world, a whole new community, group of people, group of, yeah, you've got a whole new something, something happening. All right, Radiant Soul Lights, um, thank you for the honor of tuning in with you and for you. Uh, let me know how this resonates. You might wanna check back because the Celtic Cross, it, you know, it's a week to two weeks, four to six weeks out, depending on people's timeline, could be a little bit longer, but I kind of feel like this is pretty kind of quick manifestation drawing in because um, I already feel that the space has been created. So anyway, wishing you much peace, love, prosperity, and just um, a lot of love, light, and wisdom. Hope to see you in the next reading.